Well, that might as well have been a training game, to be honest. We did end up winning 2-1, but it's not a lot to talk about. Uh, every attack that we did get just got broken down. It was sloppy play in the final third. I felt sorry for Agarlo in the first half. Uh, he could have easily had a hat-trick with the runs he was making. No one was finding him. No one found him all game, to be honest. But one chance that he did have, that he should have scored, of course, but he, he kind of lost his balance. But yeah, we didn't need to win. We're 5-0 up, of course. Um... But aye, uh, a lot of fringe players started today. Uh, Maguire started his 57th game this, uh, sorry, 52nd game this season for United, uh, and he's also had six starts for England, so that's 58 starts for Maguire. Potentially another four to come. Uh, it is four, isn't it? Wait, no, that was the last 16, so it'll be three. Potentially three more games to come. Uh, we've got Copenhagen on Monday in the uh, the quarterfinals. And obviously we'll probably play a, a lot stronger lineup because we are going to want to win the, the competition. And yeah, it, it just wasn't a great performance from many people on the team. However, I do want to say when he came on, Titi Chong was brilliant. Uh, you know, he, he was energetic. He beat uh, several defenders trying to, uh, you know, create some chances, etc. Pereira wasn't too bad when he came on, but you could tell he was trying to show off a bit, like show that he's got the skills, etc. Because there was a few easy passes that he missed up. Uh, trying to do skills and beat uh, players etc which I suppose is in this type of game it doesn't really matter because we're we're almost guaranteed to go through but yeah we ended up winning of course but the first goal that last scored uh, that that might be goal of the tournament to be honest uh, come the end of it that that was absolutely phenomenal you just got to sit back and clap especially when you're 5-0 up at the time on aggregate so yeah brilliant and they deserved it to be honest they they didn't deserve to lose today they they played pretty well um, but yeah, we got the equaliser shortly after. Uh, Maguire, I think, played a ball through to Lingard, and yeah, he managed to slot it in. Um, <laughs> I mean, the defending wasn't very good, but yeah, uh, good goal from Lingard. And then in the second half, we brought on Martial, Pogba, uh, Mengi made his debut. Tengai Mengi, that is definitely a player to look out for in the future. Uh, defender, but I think we played him in right back this game because he uh, he came on for Fossa Mensa. But yeah, he came on. Uh, obviously, Pereira came on. I'm trying to think, it was the other player. Um, off the top of my head, I can't even think. I, I genuinely can't think. Did we make five subs? I think we did. But regardless, Martial came on, and uh, it's a lovely interchange between him and Mata, who had a poor game until the last 10 15 minutes. Uh, but yeah, nice interchanges. And Martial just showed the difference in like quality between some of the players in our squad. Um, He's on for, well, the last 20 minutes or so, and yeah, he did more than everyone other than Chong, really. But yeah, good goal. Uh, keeper was a little bit unlucky not to save it, but not too much to add, really. 7-1 on aggregate, of course, we're through, as I say, against Copenhagen. Um, Inter went through in their half of the tournament. Of course, if we do beat Copenhagen, I think we've got either Wolves, Olympiacos, whoever plays in that, Sevilla or Roma, I think are the potential opponents. And then I imagine... Inter will make it to the final in their half so we'll see but of course we need to beat Copenhagen and we need to play a lot better than that but I'm sure we'll have a stronger lineup but yeah also side note I actually love this home shirt it, it arrived today obviously came out yesterday it's pretty much like Marmite some hate it some love it I'm in the ballpark that loves it so yeah anyhow smash Copenhagen really